So as many of you already know, uh, we realized or finally realized one of our dreams, which was to snowbird out of Canada this winter, or last winter, not spend one day in the dark, bitter and miserable cold here in Montreal, Canada. So from December to April 1st, we stayed in Coronado, a private beach community in Panama in an Airbnb. So Coronado is actually a really popular, uh, if not the most popular expat community in Panama. Uh, you have Boca. Who, uh, that's also very popular that's more in the mountains on the other side of the country and of course you have Panama City but Coronado very very popular with the expats who like the beach so in this video I'll tell you all about our trip and go over what everyone is probably curious to hear about how's the weather how's the cost of living uh, and at the end of the video I have a pretty exciting announcement to make so let's get to it <music> So it should should be no surprise to you that the weather was magnificent. It was fantastic. There are plenty of words that I could use, but I'll never forget what our transport drivers who picked us up from the airport the first day told us. The first question I asked them was, how would you describe the weather in Panama? I'll never forget what she said. In Panama, it's eternal summer. Now think about, the, think about that for a second. Let it sink in eternal summer i also asked her what about at night uh what's the what's the coldest it gets right she said uh coldest it gets is about 20 22 degrees i just started laughing in the car so room temperature is your coldest weather it's literally a joke guys the, the best way i could put it is you are always always no matter what time it is or day it is comfortable that's the best way i could put it so i was literally in tank tops and my bathing suit all day uh, this trip really made us realize or confirm that weather is a lot more important than we think and realize. Whether you realize it or not, the primary or basic driver of our mood and spirit is the weather. It really makes a big difference. Uh, in your life it did for us anyway so try it out if you don't believe me spend three months there or you know in a, in a warmer climate Mexico or Cuba wherever it is three months there right a two-week vacation won't cut it that's not living there that's visiting right I'm talking about actually living someplace for at least three months I'm telling you it will change your perspective on life so as soon as we got back to Montreal first day we felt cold, shivered for the first time in three months. I mean, our throats and nostrils in the last couple of weeks got all dry. Uh, the pollution smell came back strong. The usual gray, rainy weather all came back like a, like a nightmare all in one shot. So we're, we're very sad. We actually still are. So in Coronado, Panama, the weather is so consistent. It's so nice every day that you want to get out. You want to get out of bed in the morning, even if you're tired. The first thing you want to do is go outside, look at the palm trees, smell the, the nice dewy, fresh air, uh, not check your stupid phone, right? So it's much easier and better to wake up and it really drives the rest of the day. Uh, you really have more joy in life. It, it's hard to describe, but I could basically confirm that it, it drastic, drastically changes your days and your life for the better, right? Now, am I saying it's always sunny, always perfect in Panama? No, obviously it rains, but you know how we have of four seasons in Canada well in Panama there's only two seasons dry season and wet season so dry season is when we stayed from December to April uh, and the rest is considered rainy season now the, the temperature always stays the same but uh, it's the same 25 to 30 degrees every day but during rainy season there's more of a chance there's simply more of a chance for rain so we did experience rain of course but it's completely different than it is in Canada or, or Montreal in Montreal you could have two three five days in a row of rain or the whole day is gray and it doesn't stop right so in Panama or in Coronado it's kind of like, you know, you probably experienced this if you traveled to the Caribbean. It rains really hard for like 30 minutes, an hour, and then the, the sun comes out. So it's completely different. It doesn't bog down the whole day. So in short, guys, I have to say the weather was absolutely fantastic. Moving on to cost of living now. So my wife and I had a lot of discussions on this, and we, we tried to come up with a number uh, overall to describe or try to compare the cost of living to where we were in Panama compared to Montreal and uh, where we have lived all our lives of course 
uh, and where cost of living is going up all the time, right? So the approximate number that we came up with overall, even with the exchange rate, because Panama uses USD, US dollar currency, the cost of living over there overall is easily 25 to 33 percent cheaper. So the most notable notable difference is really the food and drink. I mean, fruits, vegetables, anything fresh is like less than half of what it costs in Canada. Not only that, but it tastes much better and it's fresh. So we did our first uh, Costco run last week when we got back and we just couldn't believe the price. It's, it was really a, a shock to us once you're there for three months. Uh, we were actually getting quite annoyed and pissed off at Costco. Peppers, tomatoes, eggs, milk, fruits so much more expensive and crappier quality too honestly than we had in the last three months so because panama is such a fertile fertile land and country they grow a lot of good stuff there so we were amazed how cheap and uh, cheap the food was and how good the quality was so if you're a foodie who loves to cook loves to eat healthy panama would be a paradise for you trust me on that uh, coronado had four main grocery stores ray super 99 ariba smith and mache tat so we went to all of them except ariba smith and we were actually very impressed to be honest you have everything you need there and more each store of course has their own specialty just like back home so the wine the beer the spirit situation is especially good in panama we were spec we were skeptical at first for four five six seven dollar bottles of wine but it turns out that they were really really good and good quality the taste was really good as well uh it had a lot of selection so we we discovered new grape varieties that we didn't know uh that you know grow in south america so alcohol in particular is pretty much less than half of what it costs in canada it just gets us angry now that when we walk into an saq which is run by the Quebec government and you see the prices I mean it's just mind-boggling so in Panama not only is there much more selection and you could get it at the grocery store any grocery store it's a lot cheaper local beer is also really 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 good and they're about 50 to 60 cents each so in short when it comes to food and drink guys it's easily 25 up to 50 percent cheaper and better quality uh transportation is also very cheap and affordable there many expats don't even have cars they simply walk on the main road and wait for a taxi to come 90 percent of the time when we had to go to the grocery store uh, to shop for food we would start walking and we would catch uh, a cab and it would only cost three dollars to get to the, the little mall center little shopping mall and maybe five dollars to, to go back home so even if you're shopping once a week it will co cost you no more than ten dollars a week on taxis and their service is actually really good too they're the grocery store workers bag all your groceries they help you carry your groceries outside they uh, hail the taxi for you they put the stuff in the taxi in the trunk for you and then when you get dropped off the taxi driver gets out takes your groceries out so uh, we were very impressed with the service really really nice uh, people and good service all the time and if you give them a dollar or two dollar tip they are super super happy and grateful so really really good vibe there remember the good old days of good service guys remember when at costco they actually bagged your stuff for you now they don't even do that anymore at costco they just throw it all in the in the in the basket there in the in the cart uh because of COVID 19 i guess well it's it's pure garbage restaurants another thing where we were very impressed with most restaurants if not all restaurants in coronado are owned by expats so the prices are very affordable of course like any other restaurant it depends on the quality right the higher class restaurant the higher the prices will be but you have really good italian restaurants like cafe med and luna luna rosso that have really good italian cuisine picasso is probably the most popular hangout spot because of their super famous happy hour on wednesdays where these big margaritas and whatever are all four dollars they also have a lot of live music there the menu is very diverse we had the pizza the burgers meat fish we were pretty much never disappointed with the food uh, you also have a barbecue place that's owned from an expat from texas so they make really good ribs and brisket so the restaurant selection and quality is definitely there and you could tell that it's getting more and more it's expanding more and more because it's getting bigger and bigger the community so another thing for on cost of living healthcare very very affordable panama is very well known for affordable healthcare. so we didn't go see a doctor or dentist in the time that we were there but Every single person or every single expat we spoke with confirmed how cheap and affordable and a great service uh, those medical services are. Most of them don't even need or have health insurance. That's how cheap it is. I mean, you could um, look it up 
on YouTube or watch other videos on it. But when it comes to healthcare, Panem is one of the best. Uh, so it's also another big reason why it's one of the most uh, popular places on earth to retire to, right? Moving on to vibe and people now. So this is another thing that impressed us. Both the expats and locals generally have a really, really chill and good, calm vibe. Coronado is pretty much mostly expats, to be honest. A lot of Canadians, Americans, Australians, some Europeans uh, who are older and either live there full-time or snowbird there for six months out of the year. So people are generally very happy and a good and in a good mood. Everywhere you walk, people say hi to you and smile. It took us a while to get used to it because that doesn't really happen in a metropolis like Montreal where everyone is very stressed out and anxious all the time. So the completely opposite vibe there, calmness, happiness, relaxation is the best way I could describe it. You really have to experience your, experience it yourself. It was really cool. After a few days, we got used to it and started waving and saying hi to everyone. It's just what you do there because the sun, the sun is out all the time. It's a beautiful place and people are always happy. So awesome, awesome vibe. The locals are also very, very nice. They always say hi to you no matter what. Even if they're working, walking, like the condo maintenance guys, they're busy doing something. They'll always step and always stop and say buenas or buenas tardes. So Panamanians are really known to be friendly and I confirm that that is 100% true. So I could go on and on, but I don't want to make this video uh, super long. I will continue making videos like this once in a while on our personal journey through life. I know many of you are curious and I get a lot of questions about this. So if you are, if you really want to know a little bit more of our personal life, uh, you could follow us on Instagram. Uh, that's where we post some of our, our personal stuff. And we did post some pictures and, and stuff on our from our time in Panama there. So make sure you follow us on Instagram if you want that. Uh, another thing I need to mention is that we didn't really explore Panama that much in the three months that we've been there honestly because we were still very very busy with the channel I mean the channel pretty much has been blowing up in the last couple of months it's getting getting more and more attention from all kinds of different income oriented fund managers I've had a lot of interviews and I will keep having more interviews uh, in the last couple of months and going forward so uh, many people have reached out to me for a col collaboration so I, we didn't actually have that much time to explore Panama uh, so we don't we didn't go see really a lot of other places but that's okay because I have uh, a pretty big announcement to make right now we are moving to Coronado Panama permanently so the target move is in June 2022 so like in less than two months which is pretty crazy that's right guys we're officially leaving Canada we already found our dream place and signed a one-year lease there starting in June 2022. So the next two months will be very busy for us because we need to get all the documents required for the visa process. We need to sell off all our stuff. Luckily, we don't own property and a lot of stuffs, uh, but I do have to sell my electric car, which I'm kind of sad about. I'll miss it dearly. So now you might be asking yourself, okay, how will the move affect your investing strategy, your portfolio, taxes? Which visa are you applying for? How much did it cost? Uh, what will, will your tax situation be when you're in Panama, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So don't worry, I'll answer all those questions in an upcoming video. Any videos that relate to our personal story and journey will be added to a specific playlist called our financial freedom journey. So rest assured, this will never be the main content of the channel. Okay, it will always be about investing and passive income investing and sharing our investing journey with all of you. But one thing I could tell you is that we will never stop investing for passive income. Passive income is more of a lifestyle for us. Uh, this is what's allowed us to actually make the move to Panama, become financially independent in the first place. So we owe it all to financial freedom and passive income. So um, not only that, but we actually have big plans for the channel next in the coming year. So this channel, the channel is growing consistently. We have ma been making a lot of great contacts with our favorite fund managers. The content will just keep on getting better and better that I could promise you. And just to keep everyone in the loop, because some people have already asked me about this. I had a Zoom call uh, last week or two weeks ago with probably the most popular Canadian investing YouTuber, Brandon Beavis. So I know many of you watch his channel because I get the YouTube stats, right? So I know what you guys are watching besides myself. 
um, besides me anyway. So I have to be honest, um, he, he does have a lot of great content on his channel, even though his investing style is very different from mine. He So it was a very productive call. He's building something that I think could be really cool and have great potential, kind of like an all-in-one hub where multiple Canadian investing YouTubers will participate and offer some services. So I don't have any of the details yet, but I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. I do want to have Brandon on the channel so we could talk about it. Uh, he has a very interesting vision where every YouTuber has their own sort of vertical, their own specialty. So obviously I would be the income guy or the passive income guy, uh, which I like the sound of. So very excited for the future, guys. Rest assured, we're all in this together. I will never abandon you. I will always be open and upfront with you guys. I'll keep showing you my portfolio and sharing with you my investing journey with you. So nothing will ever change on, on that on. on that regard uh, as well as my investing style will not change as well by the way everyone if ever you uh, are interested in learning more details about the area the neighborhood the real estate market the rental market there we'll put some uh, links in the video description below so you could check out and if you want to see some really great footage of the area some nice drone shots and see how the area is it's a beautiful area make sure to check out this guy's video right here i think he did a really really good job in documenting the place so check it out if you're interested Thank you for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Please show your appreciation by hitting that like button. It takes two seconds. It's free for you. It helps the channel grow. So it's a win-win. Also, if you like this type of content, if you're a do-it-yourself investor and you want to focus on income-oriented investing, this is the place to be. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to not miss out on my future content. Make sure to turn on that bell, the notification button right next to the subscribe button so you're notified when a new video comes out. And of course, don't forget, visit our website, www.pat.com passiveincomeinvesting.ca that's where you could access my digital product the ultimate diy investing package which is on version 3 right now so this product is really a guide or a reference to help you build your own portfolio according to your investing needs so it's not just of course it's a little bit more focused on income investing but if you're a dividend focused investor or a growth focused investor as well there's sample portfolios for you there's lists of etfs and closed end funds if you want to do some manual a research or build your portfolio ma manually but to be honest with you the best part of the product is really the sample portfolios so there's both canadian sample portfolios american or u.s market sample portfolios and those sample portfolios include samples for income for growth for dividend for low risk income for aggressive income aggressive growth so it's tailored to whatever your investment needs are not just what i focus on which is income so really really cool package and it comes with lifetime updates so you only have to ever buy it once and you get the updates when a new version comes out. I'm actually planning on coming out with version 4 in Q3 of 2022. So you buy it once and that's it. You have access to all the updates that come in the next year. So I also offer a consultation service, a one-on-one -on -one consultation service with, with yours truly. Uh, so if ever you want more personalized help, it's a one hour Zoom meeting with me. Personally, we'll go over your portfolio, I'll answer all, all your questions. I'll help you build a new portfolio transition from a growth portfolio to an income portfolio. That's a very common consultation that I do. So whatever your needs are, I'm here to help you guys. I love doing these consultations, but I'm, they sell out very quickly because I have to limit myself to four a week. So um, make sure you check out the website. It's You'll see a big calendar and check out the message on top of the calendar. I usually open up the slots on the 25th of each month for the next month. So stay tuned um, if you want to have a consultation. I'm also working on introducing a new service, an email consultation service to try to alleviate some of the, the traffic or the demand for the one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls. So stay tuned for that. It's coming in the next uh, next month or so. So I appreciate your patience. I try to help everyone out. But like I said, I need also some time to actually make the YouTube content. So how do I always leave you? Stay safe. And of course, stay passive. See you next time.